Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So growing up in several churches, I found myself a little confused on certain topics. For instance, as a child, I was baptized in the Methodist Church. I was nine years old. I had no clue of what was happening other than they were sprinkling water on me. When I got saved in 1982 in the Baptist Church, they made me get baptized again. This time, all I thought was the pastor was trying to drown me, pushing my head underwater. But seriously, as the years went by, I finally began to focus on my relationship with the Lord. I grew to understand the importance of baptism and wanted to get baptized again as a declaration that my old life was behind me now. I'm a new creation in Christ. So what does baptism literally mean? Well, in the Greek, the word baptize means to immerse. We immerse our bodies in water and we emerge clean, free of our old lifestyle. It symbolizes the transformation of our salvation. Water baptism gives you the opportunity to openly show others you're a born again Christian. Galatians 2.20 says, My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Baptism in water is not the same as salvation. In Acts 2, Peter preached about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. He said, Repent, be baptized every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, you're baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ. It is the precious blood that Jesus shed on the cross which cleanses us from sin. Well, why did Jesus get baptized then? Jesus was baptized by John, revealing to Israel that he was the Messiah and foretelling of his own death, burial, and resurrection yet to come. Romans 6, 4 through 6 sums up the importance of water baptism. For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we've been united with Him in His death, we also will be raised to life as He was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin.